I'm programming my route into my onboard GPS. I'm flying to Leicester. It's a 117 nautical mile flight, which should see me skirt around London, then northwest. I'll ask for a transit of Luton controlled airspace. Here is the low level forecast from the Met Office. I'm expecting low cloud, moderate turbulence and a brisk wind. Here's Gatwick's aerodrome forecast. Luton and East Midlands. So this is an IFR flight, but I'm hoping to get above the cloud. It's a great visibility over to London though. So some low cloud, which we'll get, a, get above quite quickly, I'd have thought. All pre-flight checks complete, I request my departure clearance. Go Oscar Romeo, holding Alpha 1, ready for uh, departure clearance. Go Oscar Romeo, hold position, uh, after departure, it's a right turn, uh, routing through the beginning overhead, and uh, navigation towards the uh, northeast, climb not above, altitude 2,400 feet IFR, Squawk 7047. Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, hold position, right turn through the overhead, uh, navigation to the northeast. Climb not above altitude, 2,400 feet, IFR, Squawk 7047. Oscar Romeo, correct, triple ready for departure. And we're fully ready to departure, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, runway 21, right turn, clear takeoff, 230, 10 knots. Clear takeoff, uh, 21, right turn, Golf Oscar Romeo. Okay. Clear on approach, got landing lights on. We're expecting to go into IFR quite early on. Temperatures and pressures are in the green. Speed's coming alive. That's 50 knots. That's 60. And off we go. Temperatures and pressures on the green. And we're climbing. Tracking the runway centre line. 80 knots. Better number 212, Charlie Mike, Delta 2, ready. 212, Charlie Mike, thank you, hold uh, position, I'll call you back. We're holding position, uh, Delta 2, Charlie. Okay, so we uh, track 220. Golf Oscar Romeo, basic service, uh, report overhead to field, 2,400 feet. Basic service, we'll go Golf Oscar Romeo. November 2 and 2, Charlie Mike, taxi to Delta 1. Good enough, Delta 1, November 2 and 2, Charlie Mike. At around 1,000 feet above the aerodrome, I enter the cloud. Note that I'd be reluctant to take off with cloud bases at my point of departure below a thousand feet in case the engine failed on takeoff. I'm turning right, tracking back inbound towards the big VOR, which is located next to the Biggin Hill runway. Golf Oscar Romeo, report passing 5 miles north east field, what altitude are you climbing to? Wilco, uh, climbing to altitude 2,400 feet, Golf Oscar Romeo. At the top of the climb I get the odd glimpse of blue sky above me, but I'm not permitted to go any higher until north of London, so it looks like I'm going to be stuck in the cloud for a while. The moderate turbulence makes altitude keeping a constant workout. Golf 
Oscar Romeo, four miles northeast. Uh, request frequency change, south end radar. 130 decimal 775. Golf Oscar Romeo, Squawk 7000 and free call south end, bye bye. Squawk 7000, free call south end, Golf Oscar Romeo. South end radar, Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, request traffic service. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, south end radar, has a message. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, PA 28, Biggin Hill to Leicester, IFR. Uh, Alkin, altitude 2,300 feet, 1030, request to traffic service. Squawk Oscar Romeo, Squawk 4575, you identified traffic service. Squawk 4575, traffic service, Golf Oscar Romeo. Uh, can I just check what's the top of the cloud cover, please? Golf Sierra Alpha Cloud, it's our end scattered at 1,300 feet. Uh, thank you, and the IFR traffic, uh, is he above the cloud? If I may request tops of the cloud, please. Uh, if that's for me, uh, it's Swanley, uh, the tops are about 2,500 feet. Understood, thank you, sir. Golf Oscar Romeo, can you confirm your next turning point? Turning at uh, Banbury Reservoir for Brookmans Park and uh, then looking for a Luton Transit IFR, Golf Oscar Romeo. Okay. This is not nice. Picking up some lift, which I have to watch very carefully because I'm close to the base of controlled airspace here. Golf Oscar Romeo, Squawk 5020. Squawk 5020, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, Farmer, have your details, so contact Farmer North 132.8. 132.8, Golf Oscar Romeo. Outside controlled airspace, subject to workload, Lars controllers sometimes hand you over to the next unit. Not always, though. Farmer Radar, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, heading 280 degrees, 2,400 feet, 1031. Oh, brother, Hotel Oscar Romeo, Farmer Radar, identified on handover from South End Radar. It is a traffic service, landing to an H1031. Traffic service 1031, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, position south of Lambourne by three and a half miles, resume own navigation, Brookman's Park. Oh, navigation, Brookman's Park, position checks, thanks, Golf Oscar Romeo. Being stuck in the cloud and hand flying isn't ideal. I'm feeling the strain, but it's really good practice. Yeah, this is a bit heavy on the old workload. So we want uh, Luton on 129550. Bit of light relief as we pop out of the clouds here. Probably not for long. For this flight, I thought I'd try the Class D pre-notification website from Nats, and I submitted in advance my details for the requested zone transit. I'm not certain I'm in favour of this scheme, and I would prefer that air traffic units made better use of flight plans instead, but I was curious to see if it made things any easier. particularly since I'm flying on instrument flight rules, and that makes life harder for the controller. They have to keep all IFR traffic in Class D airspace separated from each other by 1,000 feet and three nautical miles. It's touch and go whether they'll let me through, considering that I can't climb any higher right now, and I'm going considerably slower than the passenger jets who are also using the airspace. Let's see. Luton Radar, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo. Request IFR, Zone Transit has filed. Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, Roger, I've got your details. Squawk 4672. Squawk 4672, Golf Oscar Romeo. One advantage of pre-notifying Luton is that I don't have to pass my abbreviated flight plan over the radio, and the controller already has a flight progress strip ready. Golf Oscar Romeo, you are identified as a traffic service, looking QNH 1030. Traffic service, QNH 1030, Golf Oscar Romeo. And Golf Oscar Romeo, what's your current level? 
2,300 feet, 1030, Gulf Coast Columbia. Gulf Coast Columbia, Roger, clear to enter and transit Luton Control Base, this IFR at 2,400 feet then, and uh, a bit later on I may have to put you on headings to keep you clear of outbound traffic if that's okay. Clear to transit uh, Luton Control Airspace, uh, IFR at 2,400 feet, and uh, Roger for the headings, Gulf Coast Columbia. So I get my clearance, which is great, but what if I hadn't been allowed through? Well, on the return flight, that's exactly what happened. In my next video, you can see how I managed that. In short, I had to have a plan B. Go on, go on, maybe radar control service in one mile. Due to outbound traffic, turn right, heading 315. 315. Radar control, right, heading 315, Golf Oscar Romeo. Romeo is now radar control service and turn right heading 325. Radar control service right 325 degrees. Gulf Oscar Romeo. Gulf Oscar Romeo, are you IMC or BMC where you are? Uh, IMC, Gulf Oscar Romeo. Roger. Gulf Oscar Romeo, you can resume your own navigation now for Leicester. Resume my own navigation, uh, Gulf Oscar Romeo. So it's, uh, it's time to make a uh, change of the fuel tank that we're using. We do this every half an hour, so I'm going to switch the fuel pump on, have a look at the fuel pressure, which is uh, steady here. And then down here, I'm going to switch this to the left tank, making sure I don't go to the off position. And I check the fuel pressure gauge again, make sure it's still holding, turn the fuel pump off. It drops a little bit when you do that but then it holds steady, so that's all good. Golf Oscar Romeo downwind 2 8 right hand to land, contact one ahead. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger. November runway vacated. I'm relieved to be here in Leicester. The weather up here is far better than it was back down in Kent. Oh, that was hard work. But rewarding. Rewarding. Not everyone will think that a restricted instrument rating holder should exercise the full privileges of the qualification. It's not a full IR after all. Some think it's just a get out of jail rating. But my view is, how do you think you'll get out of jail if you never practice flight in IMC? Fly safely, my friends. <laughs>